Hey Explorers and welcome back to Pip Explorers. This week we're discussing our values for sleeping pads. So in this video I mentioned that I would be talking about in this video about what an R value for a sleeping pad is. And while a sleeping pad may seem like its primary purpose is to make you comfortable because you're camping and sleeping on the ground is not the world's most pleasant thing, it actually has the additional purpose of keeping you warm. Sleeping pads can be used when you are tent camping or hammock camping. There are a lot of backpacking hammocks out there that you can order that are double layered so that you can actually unzip the end put a sleeping pad in there and then zip it back up so you have something not only flat but an additional layer of protection from the weather. Sleeping pads, like sleeping bags, have a rating. So a sleeping pad rating, if you check out that video, sleeping pads are rated by either EN or ISO to tell you like what the temperature of the sleeping bag is that you can like be comfortable in or that you can survive in. Again, for more information on sleeping bag ratings, check out that video. But for sleeping pads, they're not really done the same way because they're measured differently. Sleeping pad ratings do not correspond to a specific temperature, unlike sleeping bags, but your sleeping pad should work with your sleeping bag to get you to the sleeping bag's comfort rating. The R value of a sleeping pad is a measure of how well that sleeping pad resists our heat. Typically this is a single number, it ranges from 1 to 7, sometimes you'll get like a 3.5, and it can go above 7, but that's in a typical go to REI, normally you're going to have ones that range from 1 to 7. Historically, very interestingly at least to me, the R value on a sleeping pad has not been regulated but with the new implementation of the ASTM R value rating system, we actually now have a standard R value because before it was just based on the company. So similar to sleeping bags that have EN and ISO, certain sleeping pads, especially those again that are found at REI, will be standardized and have these standard R values. So you might be thinking, okay, I know what an R value is now, I know kind of what the purpose is, what does that mean? How do I know which one to buy? So here's a good rule of thumb. So a one to two, sometimes a three R rating is good for summer camping. It is good when it's hot out. Now keep in mind that summer camping is going to vary depending on the type of area, area you live in. If it still gets really cold at night, you probably don't want a summer level sleeping pad. In that case, you're going to want to bump up to the three to five range, this is your three season. So typically these are gonna be a little bit better at resisting heat, they're gonna keep you warmer, it's better for spring, summer, and fall, so when you get those chills in the air or chills in the ground, because that's really what you're protecting yourself from, assuming you're tent camping, you have that little extra protection. These two are gonna weigh probably a little bit more than a summer one, but the advantages do outweigh that little bit of extra weight, and a lot of times it's really not that big of a weight difference. And then for winter camping, you're gonna want a five or higher for your sleeping pad. It might seem like a lot, and those are gonna be a bit bulkier, a bit heftier, just so that they can be as effective as possible. So I said earlier that your sleeping pad and your sleeping bag work together to get you to that comfort rating. The reason that this is, is because when you are in a sleeping bag, at least I'm assuming you're laying down, that's compressing the down or synthetic fill of your sleeping bag and making it less effective. That's just kind of how it works. So for your sleeping bag to have its maximal effectiveness, you need something underneath you, like a sleeping pad, to bring that out, to give you that full warmth. A lot of companies actually recommend a sleeping pad of at least an R value of four for your sleeping bag to perform properly. So that is a crash course on R values. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments below. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We are on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, all at Piv Explorers. Don't forget to check out the website, pivexplorers.com. Don't forget to send me your questions, comments, suggestions on any of the platforms, and we will see you next week. Bye!